Hello everyone, this is Yamin and in this tutorial, how to do is that we are going to let the admin see the borrow request from the user. So what we do first is that in the sidebar, we are going to have an option called borrow request. So for it, let's go back to our code and we'll go to our resource, then views and inside views, we have the admin folder. Here you can see sidebar.blade.php. So let's go inside and let me just go down and here you can see login. So instead of login, we are going to say over here, borrow request. So let's just save it. And after that, let me just refresh over here. And there you can see borrow request option over here. So right now what we will do is that when someone click on this option borrow request, it will take the admin to another page where the admin will be able to see all the requests made by user. So let's go back. And here in this HA for this borrow request, we're going to mention a URL. So let's give to second bracket. Then we're going to say here URL to first bracket to single quotation. Then let's keep a name. Uh, the name we will say borrow underscore request. Let's save this. So right now, let's go to our route, then web.php and let's create a route for this. So let's go to our web.php. Let me just go down and let me just copy. Uh, let me just copy this route called OC and I will just paste it over here. So the route name will be poro underscore request. So let me just copy this. Then I will paste it over here. We'll use the admin controller, the route will be get and the function name will be bore underscore request. So right now let's go to our admin controller and create this function. So let's go to our app HTTP controller and here you can see admin controller. So let's go down and here we're going to say public function. It will be borrow request to first bracket then to second bracket. So from here, we're going to send all the borrow request from the table. So here you can see our table levels borrow over here. So first of all, what we need to do is that in the admin controller, we need to mention the borrow model name over here. Uh, so let me just copy this and I'll just paste it here. And I'm going to say over here, use app backslash model backslash, it will be borrow. So we are basically mentioning uh, this this model name over here so after it let's just go down and here in this function public function borrow request first of all let's declare a variable let's say the variable will be dollar data equal to we're going to mention the model name which is borrow we'll give to double clone we'll say over here all uh, dollar data equal so after that uh, what we are doing over here is that we are getting all the borrow data and storing it in this dollar data variable. So from here, we return a view. We say over here, return view. The view name will be, uh, let's say, borrow underscore request. You can give it any name, but, but let's just keep it similar. Uh, let's go to our admin folder. Let me just right click on it, then click new file. And we're going to say over here, borrow underscore request dot blade.php control s then save so just like before let's just uh, write a simple html in the body we are going to someone here let's just say over here borrow let's save it so right now what will happen is that when someone click on this button borrow request it will call this url and this url will call the admin controller borrow fu request function and this borrow request function will return us to this view and this view is this one. So right now if we save it, then let me just refresh. Then let's click on this option borrow request. And there you can see borrow is written over here. Let me zoom in. There you can see. So right now, first of all, we are going to add a design over here. So how to do is that. Uh, let me just remove everything from here. And right now we'll just go to our admin, then index.blade.php and I'm going to copy everything from here, control A, control C. Then I'm going to paste over here, over here, uh, borrow underscore request.blade.php, control V. So from here I'm going to remove this admin.body 
and let me just go to the body.blade.php and from here I'm going to copy this 3D then paste it over here we also need to close this 3D so we'll close it over here like this okay so we'll just uh, close the 3D over here and here you can see of the CSS header sidebar the footer section so right now if we just save it then if we just refresh our this space there you can see of the header sidebar and the body section so right now what we'll do is that we're going to have a table over here and in that table we're going to show the data uh, like the book name book details username user details okay so let's go back and from the admin controller first of all let's just send this dollar data to this view so here we're going to say comma compact then we give to single quotation then we we'll start here data so we are sending all the photo details to this page so right now uh, let's just first create a table over here so we're going to mention that table tag then inside this table we're going to have tr then inside this tr we're going to have some table header so let's say th so what we are going to show in the table uh, let me just go back to the database table so here you can see you have the book id and user id so in the book table uh, we have title author image uh, i mean author name price description quantity and everything so what we are going to do is that uh, from the book table we will only show the title uh, quantity and the book image and here also in the borrow table we have user id so in the uh, from the user table we'll show the username email and full number only those three so uh, we'll have total six th over here so let me just copy this and i'm going to paste it five times or two three four and five so let's say it will be a uh, user name then this will be email let's just say email user email then it will be user phone number so we just say over here phone so this will be book title book title then this will be quantity quantity the total number of quantity we have in the database table and this will be book image so we saw our here book image so let's give another tr over here and in this tr we're going to have some td in order to show those data so let's just show our here dd and in this td let's just say for now abc then let me just copy this and i'm going to paste it five times on two three four and five so let's save it then if we now refresh here there you can see we have a table over here so right now let's just add some design for this table so let's have the table in the center first so uh, here in this table tag we are going to mention a class class name will be center save it let's get the top in the head section we are going to show over here style then in this style we are going to mention the class name which was center then we will give to second bracket then we are going to show over here text align it will be center then margin it will be auto uh, we are going to mention the table width uh, let's say width it will be 60 percent then we saw our here border it will be on ps solid of uh, white let's save it and right now if we just refresh here there you can see it now looks like a table so let's add a few more design let's just uh make the table header color a little different so here you can see uh we have this th so for this th we're going to write some css so let's say over here th then we'll give to second bracket and we're going to show our here background color it will be sky blue let's say over here text color uh, let's just first say over here text align it will be center the color from the text it will be white 
then we we can also sell on here font size it will be uh 30 px and font weight it will be bold let's save then let's refresh okay 30 px is too big uh let's click it 15 px save refresh okay that's fine so let's just add some uh, space over here. So for it, what we can do is that here we can say margin top, it will be 60px. Save. Let me refresh again. And there you can see there is some gap over here right now. And uh, let's just add over here almost thing in this TH. Let's over here padding, it will be 10px okay so let me just show you how it will look there you can see so right now what we do is that from the table user or uh, not from um, user from the table borrow we are going to show the book details and the user details over here so let's go back and we are already sending the uh, borrow data to this page so right now let's go back and here you can see tier tag and here you can see the td tag so let me just remove the abc from here so i'll just select those and then remove it so let's save it and in the table we have multiple data so we need to use a for each group for this tier tag since we are sending multiple data from the popular so we're going to show over here at the rate of for each uh, dollar data as dollar data and we in this for each loop over here we say here at the end of int for inch so right now before we write anything in this td we need to make some changes in our board and for it first of all uh, here uh, we are trying to get the user details and book details from different tables so right now what we need to is that uh, for this borrow table model we need to write some code so let's just go to our app then models and inside model here you can see borrow.php so here we are going to write two functions uh, one will be for book and another one will be for user so here we are going to okay let me just copy the code from here from book.php so here you can see public function category i am going to copy this then i will paste it over here so we are going to uh, first make a connection with the book so here we are going to say public function book and we are going to say return this belongs to we are going to mention the book model name we say over here book so after book we are going to do the same thing for the user so let me just copy this and i'm going to paste it here and here the stop book we are going to mention user then we are going to say here return dollar this uh, belongs to it will be user. We are just mentioning the user model name. So since we just made a connection with the uh, book table and user table in borrow.php, we will be able to show the data over here from different tables. So right now let's just keep to second bracket and here we are going to mention dollar data this arrow sign. And here you can see we mentioned the user function over here. So we say over here user then this arrow sign and we want to show the name. So in the database table the name is written over here like this for the user table it is name. So we'll just show over here name. So right now if we just save it then if we just refresh over here there you can see we are able to get the username. So for the uh, borrow books, as you can see in the borrow table, all the user ID is on. That's why all the data is showing the username as on. So let's show the username, I mean user phone number, user email. Okay, so for it, what we need to do is that, let me just copy this and I'll paste it over here and here. So this one will be email, then this one will be phone. And for the book, we are going to do the same thing. 
So we'll give to second bracket here. Then we we'll say here dollar data. This arrow sign. And here in the bore model, here you can see book function. So we're going to mention this over here. We we'll say here book. Then this arrow sign and the for book title, let me just go to the book table. For book title, title is written over here like this, title. So we'll just say over here, title like this. So if we now save it, then if we now refresh, there you can see, we are able to see the book title over here as well. So let's show the book quantity and the images as well, book images. So let's go back. Let me just... Copy this, paste it here. So this will be the book quantity. So we we'll say over here quantity and in this TD, we are going to show the book image. So in order to show the image, we need to use image tag. And in the source, we need to measure the folder where we store the book. So we'll say over here book. Uh, let me just show you in the public folder, we store the image in the book folder. So that's why we are saying over here book. And after that, let me just copy this, paste it here, and in the database table for book, we write it over here like this, book underscore img. So we are going to show over here, uh, book underscore img. So if we now save, then if we now refresh here, and there you can see, we are able to see the images over here. But I think book height and width is too big. Let's just make it smaller. So let me just say over here directly style over here. Uh, let's say height. It will be 50 px and width it will be 30 px. Save. Then refresh. Okay, I think that's fine. I think it's too small. Let's just increase it a little bit. Uh, let's make it height will be 150 and width will be uh, 90. Let me refresh here again. Okay, that is fine. So where I want to show the user details and book details over here and there is one more data that we need to show and that is here you can see status which is applied. So we'll uh, show the status over here after quantity. So let's just go back and here after quantity, we'll show the status. So let's show it here, uh, TH and so let's just show it here TH and in this TH, we're going to show it here status or we can just show it here borrow status and after the quantity, we're going to mention it td over here and in this td we'll give to second bracket then we we'll saw over here dollar data this arrow sign and here since we have the status data directly over here so we can just get it directly over here so we we'll just saw over here status okay so let's just save it then let's refresh so here you can see bro status is applied over here. So let's just increase the table width a little bit. Let's just make it uh, instead of 60, let's make it 80%. Save, then refresh. I think this is better. So in the next tutorial, what we'll do is that we'll have an option over here so that the admin can approve or reject the borrow status or reject the request made by user so thank you very much for watching make sure to subscribe and i hope to see you in the future tutorials